Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny! Looks you know, got a plan. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. Yeah, yeah. Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA like, system Carl what? is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointing toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. Did they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but it's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. I saw that too. I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. Uh, you want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Sorry, Kenny. You should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that, but the herd is still what's gonna get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turret radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. What? First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't Red know. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking I've about. Done it too. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Nah, I'm just Shit. lying to you. Good one, Lee. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? I don't know, but she just looks badass. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. Now or never. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Can you just change the damn jacket? It's Don't let go. I got you. I'm gonna grab that rope. Someone gonna die, you know. Try to hurry, all right? What? I think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots. 
us either. They see you not in your bunk, and we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Wow. We're in trouble. Big, big trouble. He's blind, he can't see anything. What is he doing? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does. We did the same thing last time. We learned a lot from this last time. Is it enough though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's no other way over here. What? Reggie. Still nothing. Going back. Got, uh, here. Click on. Don't know what supposed mean. I mean, I don't even know what. It mean. Radio. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. Hey, Bill. Go on. Uh, I was just, I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, okay? I don't think Bill was gonna. I don't know. Sorry, wrong button. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we No no no. She gonna I see you. God damn it, I need to hold. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If 
Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Not that high. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well, come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Got him. Everybody, stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. Was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. I was pretty scared. Nothing wrong with being scared. It's how you handle it that matters. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. 